Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Hey, why is it that one in every four black women are married uh -huh. and three out of every four die alone? Right, let's get into it. Let's go to Titus chapter 2 and verse 1. The brother asked a great question. Why is it that the black woman here in America cannot get married? That's your question, right? I didn't say that. Okay, well let's switch it around, but that's pretty Don't much what you said. Okay, you said one out of every four get married and three out of every four will die alone, right? Yeah. Why is that? Now I'm going to show you why that is. It's because our women here in America have been taught American philosophy. Right. right. Do you want a woman that's loud? Do I want yeah. a woman that's loud? Yeah. Do you want a woman that's loud? And what do you think? And disrespectful? Not disrespectful. Okay. You don't want a woman that's disrespectful, okay? Do you want a woman that is submissive to you? All men want a woman that's submissive. I'm asking you, brother. Now we're giving our big ball in. Do you want a woman that's submissive? Of course. Do you want a woman that would do what you tell her to do when you tell her to do it? Not all the time. Not all the time, okay. Maybe you might be a freak in the bed, that's fine. But for the most part, you want a woman that's going to do what you tell her to do. Guess what? The black woman here in America has not been taught that. Bring it out. They have been liberated. You ever heard of the women's liberation movement? No. Do you know why? Hold on, hold on. Do you, do you, have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you the Bible. Listen good. This is why women are single. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The aged women like the aged women likewise. Uh -huh. That they be in behavior uh -huh. as becoming holiness. So the aged woman here in America. They no longer are teaching the younger woman how to behave. We? Right. Right. Not false accusers. The Bible says that the aged woman should be teaching the young woman not to be false accusers. Meaning what? Gossiping. We? Not giving too much blood. They shouldn't be drunkards in the club every weekend. Right. Are right. one of them that? Yes. We? Teachers of good things. They should be what? Teachers of good things. Most of these younger women today they don't understand how to love their husband and love their children. Right. They're right. not teachers of good things. We right? that they may teach the young women uh -huh. to be sober. To be what? To be sober. See? To love their husband. You see that? The reason why they are single is because they don't know how to love a man. That's right. right. Because why? They didn't seek out the old path. Right. Be like right. you. Right. Yes, it is. You. You want to be revolutionized. You want an independent woman. Huh? I don't want to end Yes, you do. That's you what you want. Because you just brought a revolution. A revolution. No, I said evolution. Evolution. Evolution does not go one okay. way. Okay. Y'all should all know that. What? But the evolution okay. goes one way. Continue. See, now my whole thing, when you speak of family, you said a woman was to submit. Right. Correct. Yes. Now, how was a woman to submit with no husband? There you go. Let's get it. First Corinthians. Y'all didn't touch on that. Oh. Now, oh, okay. if, if women... So let's, well, hold on, without, let me answer that question real quick. Oh, come on, in man. any society, a woman is always under a hedge of some man. That's right. When you read the Bible, before a woman is married, who is her head? Who must she answer to before she's married? What, a father? A father. That's and right. That's right. There you go. If she don't have a father, somebody got to step up and fulfill that role. Whether right. it's her uncle, whether now, it's the pastor. Some, hold on. So there, there's always a man must be in the picture when you're dealing with women. That's, That's right. right. I That's agree right. with that. All right. A man should leave the household. There you go. But in this society, unfortunately, we Malachi don't three and sixteen. That we don't three and do six. Now, my whole Got question you. is moving forward. What is the plan? Is good. Good. Uh, Excellent answer. Now, I already answered it, but I'm gonna answer it again, and then I'm gonna go through scripture. What is the question? The first thing you must know is your nationality. That's why I kept hoping right. on that. Now, okay, now say we know that, right? Good. Now, say we know that. Hey. We moving forward. Uh huh. My fault. I'm gonna let you good? You good? Go ahead. Go ahead. I can deal say, with it. We know that. Uh huh. We know where we come from because I knew I was gonna try to do this. So you know, you, so you know you're an Israelite, right? I already knew that. So once you get that down, the next thing you should know that God has requirements as an Israelite. Give me that Deuteronomy uh, uh, 10. Now, why don't? Hold on. Why does it be uh -huh. scriptures? Right. Ring bells to a lot yeah. of because I feel like it's a problem with me being the only person out here talking to you. I, I do too. Now, it should be groups of people right. 
out here right. listening to Absolutely. you, going over what you're going Absolutely. on. But as we can see, right. for some reason, uh -huh. now I agree with everything y'all doing. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go there, okay. Before you go there, I'll say this: we have thousands of brothers and sisters that are doing the same thing that we're doing. That's right. right. We go to teach class. It's gonna reach over a hundred thousand people tonight. Right. Now, right. Just, just so you don't think this is just us. This ain't a, a one man or one group movement. Right. Now it started off as that, as the Bible said it would. Right. But this thing is global, worldwide. Right now, I, my bishop is in Guyana right now teaching the word of God. That's right. I mean, this is Chicago. Good, right. I live, I live in Texas. Right. So you there. know that. So you know the word going for. So don't yeah. try to act like, this, this, why ain't nobody no, listening? No. Okay. But this is the problem. Right, right, right. Everywhere I go, uh -huh. I'm the only one talking. Guess what? God's talking to you. That's God right. ain't coming for everybody. Bring contrary to popular belief. Guess right. what? Every, I, guess I what? I personally don't want to be alone. You, I want my people to come with me. Look, brother, you got your brothers here. That's you. right. Yeah. Listen. Oh, he, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me answer this question first. Let me answer it and then I'm going to get to that. Because you said some good stuff. And I, I, I'm going to deal with you. Now, once we understand nationality, right? What's your nationality? I want to make sure you know. Well, oh, black. American black. Ah, probably. Okay, no, so I got you. I got you. I got you. So you understand you're an Israelite, right? Right. Now, when you say that, what does that mean to you, uh, Israelite? What does that mean to what you? Does that mean to me? Yeah. I'm the enlightened. You're in the light ones. Okay. Yeah, I'm the enlightened. You chosen, right? That's right. You right. get that. You. God will come back and deliver His promise to us. There you go. Good. I know that. Now. I've read it. Now. Okay. Once you know that, what is the requirement to get that promise? Do you know that? What? Ah, there we go. So now, it's one thing to know you're an Israelite, right? Which, like you said, a lot of people know. The brothers selling drugs over there, we went over there, they're like, yeah, I know I'm an Israelite. But they're still in the midst of sin. Right. They're still killing their own community. Right. So there's something that's not clicking, like you said, obviously, right? Well, it's something bigger than that. No, no, we no. I know what's tied. That picture, what you have right here, is more powerful than them than anything on the earth. Absolutely. Now, hold on, now, don't, 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 don't go all the way over the place. No, bring it home, bring it home. But I'm, it, it's all tied okay. to one. Go ahead. Them selling drugs is a form of support. Right. Because we out here living in hell while the white man has his heaven on Absolutely. earth. Now, what I'm trying to say is uh -huh. how does this lead to black people getting their heaven on earth? Good. Being black families, right. being black businesses, right. supporting each other back in our own community. Right. Good. That's because the question. What we've seen for the last 400 years right. just ain't fucking work. Right. No, 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 no. Yes, what we're doing is not working. What we're doing, which is keeping other commandments, is working. That's right. right. How do we know that? You said for 400 years, have we been doing this or doing that? Which one? If you, okay. uh, you ain't answering the question. Let you yay me yay and nay nay. Have we been doing this or this for 400 years? Are you going to keep asking me rhetorical questions? I, I'm asking you a serious question. It's not serious because you know we've been doing this. Good. If so, you go to any so what that's showing, here, hold on, listen, I need you to listen. You got two ears and one mouth. So what I'm what you what you're proving is the revolution that you speak about, the evolution that you're speaking about is what you're being taught right now before your eyes. That's right. Because this has not been preached upon the earth. Right. The Bible says when the gospel is preached to the four corners of the earth, then shall be income. That's right. White man Jesus has been taught worldwide for over a hundred years. Why are we still on the earth? Bring it out. Because that is not the truth of the Bible. Right. The truth of the Bible has not been taught into these last days. Right. Right. Now, what you understand you're an Israelite. That's been taught, but it ain't even reciprocated in black America. Listen, listen. Once you been once you realize you're an Israelite, you ask, what must you do? Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel, uh -huh. what did the Lord thy God? Require thee. So God has requirements for us, Jay. The reason why we're still in the hoods, get all slums, prison houses, is because we have not answered the requirement that was placed upon us. Right. For example, you got children, Jay? I do. If your child don't do what you tell them to do, what you do to them? Discipline. You have discipline upon them. God is disciplined every black, Hispanic, and Native American man across the world. That's because right. Because the yeah, this is the discipline. The ghetto is the discipline. Right. The prison is the, is the discipline. Right. The abortion clinic is the discipline. Right. Right. The, the wheels in the head is the discipline. Right. The dope boy is discipline. Right. Right. That's what God has done to us. He said, hey, you don't want to keep my commandments, Jay? I'm going to make you a homosexual. Bring it you out. be proud about it. 
don't feel like that's true. Oh, it's true. I don't feel like Hold God on. can make you a homosexual. That, that, no. Oh, you don't think that? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Hold on. You're, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to show you something. You I'm think a, God makes people homosexual? I'm going to show you something, brother. All right, I'm going to listen. Thank you. Now, when you don't keep the commandments of God, the most high God will put strong delusions on you. That's He'll right. He'll make you worship a white man that's, that's right. nowhere in the Bible, and you'll be willing to die for him. Right. right. God will have changed your name to Joseph, and you'll have more pride than that than your own history. You understand what I'm saying? You get where I'm going. I do. Ah, all right, good. Where I'm going. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay. Hold on, Jay. Got abortion clinics. Right. And what else you speak of? You said this here. Right. Uh, Those are punishments for God. Man. Right. Those are punishments for God. Now my question: Who owns all this? Hold on, hold on. Let me answer the question. Who owns Your first it? question: The white man. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear. But to what? But to fear uh -huh. the Lord thy God. God, all he wants us to do is to fear him. That's it. We to walk in all of his commandments. To do what? To walk in all his ways. He wants us to walk in his ways. To do what? And to love him. And to love him. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God. God wants us to serve him. Read. With all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Read. To keep what? To what? To keep uh -huh. the commandments of the Lord. Now, James. So today's the second James. Day. Brother oh, James, okay, you get that? It's that simple. Right. Why are we here? Because we have not hearkened to the words of God. Right. Ezekiel 39 and 23. I'm going to make it clear for you. Why are we in the prison house? Why are we in abortion? What's the answer? What's the solution? The solution is simple, Jay. When you read the Bible, I don't know how familiar you are with the Bible. The children of Israel were given two, cho two choices when they were delivered. Moses came down. He said, hey, listen. You can keep the commandments of God, and I'll make you a blessed high nation. Or you cannot keep the commandments of God, and I'm going to place curses upon you. Right. So, guess what? So, you do, do you feel like, because basically, I'm not going to put this on you. Right. Right. But to elaborate everything, everything that you speak on as a curse, right. it's owned by a white man. So, do you feel like the white pe person is a curse upon the earth? He, to an extent, but I'm going to show you. God has to a purpose. To what extent? I'm going to show you. God has a purpose for everybody upon the face of the earth. Right. That's right. That's what we don't understand. Somebody has to play the devil. Would you agree? Yes. You got Satan is on the earth, right? There's a spiritual being Satan. But guess who he answers to? Who? God? He answers to God. Right. God allows him to do what he do. When he went to Job, when Satan came to Job, the most High God says, Hey, have you considered my servant Job? Show you that everybody is in submission to God. Right. right. Listen good to the scripture now. Ezekiel. Chapter 39 and up. verse 23. Uh, that mess you up? Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, hold on. Let me read this first. Hold on to that. Though. I want you to really okay. listen to this. Ezekiel, chapter 39, verse 23. Uh -huh. And the heathen. And the what? And the heathen. The other nations. We shall know uh -huh. that the house of Israel went into captivity. Slavery. Hell. Why? For their iniquity. For what? For their iniquity. Iniquity is sin. The other nations know the only reason why they rule over us is because we're in the midst of sin. Right. They know that. That's we. Right. Because they trespass against me. Because we backslid against God, he punished us. We. Therefore, I, I, my face from them. God don't deal with us now. He like, hey, I'll let whatever happened to you happen to you. That's why I said he'll let you become a homosexual. That's why I said he'll let you go okay. into the prison house. I'm glad you said that. Right. I'm not saying he made you gay. Right. Okay. Read. And give them into the hand of their enemies. What did God do? And give them into the hand of their enemies. Read. So feel they all by the sword. So, because we broke the commandments of God, he put us in the condition that we are in. You right. understand that? Right. Now, it was something you wanted to say. I had cut you off. I told you to hold on to it. You was going to say something. Yeah. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. So what I'm showing you, now I'm going I'm to go back to your statement. I want to make sure I answered it. Your first question was, well, what's the answer after we know we Israelites? I went to Deuteronomy 10 and 12, and I showed you we got to keep the commandments, right? Then I showed you if we don't keep the commandments, God said he was going to hide his face from us, and he was going to punish us. Uh -huh. Now, how do we get back in right places with God? That yeah. should be the next uh -huh. question, right? How do we get back to what God will hear us? Well, damn, yeah, 5 and 15. I no, we don't. Say we got to get back to the command. There you go. And follow the rules. There you go. Now, we 
get that. Right. Oh, 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 oh. We don't get that. <laughs> well, I get that. You don't get that. I get it. You going? You going to church today? No. Then you don't get it. The fourth commandment is keep the Sabbath day holy. That's, That's right. The Sabbath day is a holy convocation. Did right. you know that? So hold on. Did you, you know that you got to keep the Sabbath on Sunday? Because God gave us over to our own vile affection. Right. right. That we would what? Believe a lie. That when we go to that white church, we worship a white God and the white doctrine that he teaches us. Right. But now, when the prophets come out and teach, our people resist the word of God. So, so you got to make a decision. Hold on. You got to make a decision. Are you going to follow the truth or are you going to follow a lie? And once you make that decision, uh, well, you got you. Guess what? You either with me or against me. That's what Christ said. So you following what? If you lose one, you get spewed out. Revelation three and sixteen. Let's read it for him real quick. Just once, you want to make a choice today. Whether you're gonna be a real Israelite according to the Bible, because if you ain't, you might as well worship white man Jesus. That's what you don't understand. If that's your. If that's your. That's what the Bible says. Revelation chapter three, verse sixteen. So then, because thou art lukewarm, uh -huh. and neither cold nor hot. If you lukewarm, you in the middle right now. You neither cold nor hot. Me? I will spew thee out of my mouth. I will what? I will spew thee out of my mouth. So brother, you got to be on fire for the God and the Savior of Israel, or you going to be worshiping this man. Right. One way or the other. You either hot or you cold. No, you made a statement. You said, well, 90% of pastors are preaching this. Guess what? 90% of, well, 60% of people are not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Right. right. That's what you got to understand. Matthew 7 and verse uh, 14. A lot of people go to church. All people are black people. All people. But what you got to understand, you, you made a very, very important statement. You said white people are in heaven right now, right? You agree no. that? Oh, not in heaven, but they in this heaven. is their heaven. This is right. heaven. And this right. is our hell. But guess what? The heaven will be on earth when we're ruling. Right. Just like it was before when David was ruling. Right. Solomon was ruling. Right. We were on heaven on earth. That's right. We're not flying up in the sky to get heaven. We will put the nation into judgment. Why don't we have Israel now? Great question. Let's, let's get it. What are you holding? We all know. Yeah, we got. Like hold on, hold on, hold on. They say they're Jewish. Let me ask you. We them. know we Jewish. No, we don't. No, we don't. Because you just said Jewish. Most people Our people don't know who they are. Hey, brothers, what's your nationality? No. Hey, brother, what's your nationality? In the, in the hat. What's your nationality, bro? What do you say? I can hear. What do you say? America. Hey, bro. Hey, brother, what's your nationality? You, you see that? Your statement is false. Our people are lost. They don't know who they are. That's why we come out here and teach in the ghettos and slums across America, Jay. And that's why you got to repent because you know something. That's right. You know something more than all these men out here. You have the understanding. I feel like I do. Listen, you have the under. That's the greatest understanding on the face of the earth. Right. To know that you're an Israelite, you have a chance to receive salvation. Right. God right. says you're a God upon the earth. That's but right. you're not living like it right now. I give you an example. I give you an example. Trust me. I give you an example. James Harden, you watch basketball at all? Yeah. James Harden this year, right? James Harden this year. At the beginning of the year, he was mad. He was upset. He wasn't on one team, right? Right. He wasn't working out as hard. He wasn't really trying in the games. He wasn't balling, right? But when he got traded, he realized he was on a different team. He rolled different. His spirit changed. Now he's putting up triple doubles. He's scoring. He's doing this. He's doing that. So Listen, that's black people when they find out they, who they are. Absolutely. Once we realize who we are, the things will change in our lives and in our community. Right. So you right. feel like right now, uh -huh. all the black people listen. Right. And they understand who they are. Right. That's going to change their situation overnight? Not overnight. What? Hey, if, if everybody repented, yeah. But it ain't going to happen overnight. Say, hold on, hold on. Right. Say what? Repenting. If okay. everybody repented overnight, absolutely. But it, we know that's not, go, that's not how it's written to happen. Right. But. When it does, when we get that one third, that's when it's over. We're going to be delivered. Right. Now, Matthew 7, I want uh, not for many. Is that it? Yep, yep, yep. Read that. Yeah. Read 13 first. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. Read it out. Well, 90% of the pastors are teaching this. And you kind of sound concerned like, well, dang, everybody ain't going to make it look like it from what you're saying. I don't feel that way. Like I told you, okay. 13, I can understand something's wrong with Right. It. When I look up and see a blue, right. blue eye, you can. But 
think, but as kids, because I think about myself, Jay. You, I don't, you, I don't relate to that. Jay. I relate to what I see and who was the devil Jay. before he was the devil. Jay, this is my question for you. Everybody is not you. I keep telling you, brother. The most high God is dealing with you on a certain level. That's right. Now it's up to you. He'll come to you a few times. After after the, after enough times, guess what? That understanding that you're an Israelite, it's gonna go out the window. You're gonna become a new Arabian. You might become a Christian pastor. You might be in Islam. And if you keep resisting, he's gonna take that understanding that you have right now and take it from you. But listen good to the Bible. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Into ye in at the straight gate. Uh -huh. For wide is the gate. For what? For wide is the gate. The wide gate is Christianity. It's Islam. It's do what you want to do. It's rap. It's the rap game. Sports. Athletics. Okay, any religion out here. Read. And God is the way. And what? And God is the way uh -huh. that leadeth to destruction. Pride is the way that leadeth to destruction. Because when you ask a Christian path how you get salvation, they say believe on Christ and you're saved. Well, what does that tell me what to do? How do I manage my wife? What do I eat? What do I drink? What do I wear? You know, you don't have no answer. Right. You just do whatever you want and you believe on Christ. That's the broad gate. That's going to lead you to destruction. Read. And many there be which go in straight. Read. Because straight is the gate. Straight is the gate, brother. Read. And narrow is the way uh -huh. which leadeth unto life. Which leadeth unto life, which is salvation. Listen good to the last part. Read. And do. And what? And do. And what? And do. Uh -huh. There be that find it. Few people are going to find it, Jay. That's what I, that's why you're not getting. You like, well, why am I the only person out here? Because God is only dealing with you, Jay. That's right. He ain't dealing with everybody out here today. The word of God is coming to you. And you're going to have to hearken to it. If you don't, 2 Thessalonians, I'm going to show you what's going to happen to you. Chapter 9. I mean, chapter 2 and verse 9. Yep. Listen good. 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. Even him, who's coming is after the working of Satan uh -huh. with all power uh -huh. and signs and lying wonders. Right. They're talking about the white man. Really? And with all deceivableness. And with all deceivableness when a white man show up. We, of unrighteousness. Uh -huh. And them that perish. And them that perish. We, because they receive not the love of the truth. Jay. Jay. Jay, you heard that? We, because they receive not the love. Yeah, no, you good. Because they receive not the love of the truth. Because they didn't receive the love of the truth. Which is the keeping of the commandments, Jay. Hey, now what's your name, uh, brother? Ali? Ali? Hey. Kali. And what's your name? Day Day? Day Day. Day Day. I can't hear. I'm sorry. With a D. Day Day. Day Day. Day Day. Day Day. Day Day. Alright, cool. So I got the name. Kali and Jay. Now, y'all ask a great question. How do we know we the Israelites, right? What would you say your nationality is right now? African American. Jay, you listening to this? Because you said everybody knows that Israel. You say, oh yeah, that's a small change. She said African American. What would you say? Same thing? You see that, Jay? You better wake up. God's trying to show you something. You know, only 28 and 15. Come on up. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, my voice about gone. So now, they I'm going huh? to No, no. You're yeah. trying to do it wiser than you need to. God says, go and teach my people on the highways and hedges. That's right. That's what we out here doing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.